Less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. The Dolphins end up pulling off another magical move. They ended up making a trade with the Kansas City Chiefs where they traded for six-time Pro Bowler Tyreek Hill. And in return, the Kansas City Chiefs ended up getting five draft picks, a 2022 first-round pick, a 2022 second-round pick, a fourth-round pick, plus a fourth and a sixth-round pick in a 2023 NFL draft. Well, so with that being said, I'm like, all right, so I'm assuming like I don't even need to attend. I don't even think I need to tune in to the NFL draft uh, this year for the Dolphins because we ain't got no first-round pick. We ain't got no second-round pick, so there's no reason for us to sit down and watch the NFL draft the first night. But um, I like Tyreek Hill. I really do. Now, I I have no issues with none of the moves that is going on. I don't. There was just one specific move that I felt like that could have been that could have been ground shaking. That could have been NFL changing. And you know what I'm talking about with the Deshaun Watson thing. That was that was that was that was that was that was the ultimate move that had to happen for the Dolphins for us to even consider on being contenders in the in in the league this year excuse me in the afc east in the afc east and again i'm gonna go ahead and bring this up yet again even though that i've said it before and like people just go ahead and just glance over it and just be like yeah whatever you don't know what you're talking about but in that conference championship game with the browns and the chiefs you got to realize you as a quarterback, you're going to have to put up points if you want to play with the big boys. That's what you got to do. And the fact that I have I have no confidence in Tua for him to be able to do that. I have no confidence in Mike McDaniel's scheme for us to be able to do that. And I felt like based off of what we've seen from Tua, and he's the biggest issue, in my honest opinion. I have no no problem with no other player on the roster to get take us to that could take us to the promised land, which is the playoffs. It's just Tua. I he, he is it's just his limitations is is a problem. And some of the things that was said about Tua coming out of college, they haven't translated to the pros. Like accuracy has been a big issue, and anticipation has been a big issue. And those are the biggest things that have came out as far as what Tua was great at. And a lot of folks would like to be like to put the blame on Brian Flores and the offensive coaching staff because they didn't know how to call plays. But at the end of the day, like let's let's ask ourselves these, this question. Like, can is Tua can Tua actually run an NFL pro style NFL pro style offense? Can he run anything outside of the RPO? Can he do that? We don't know. So with that being said, hopefully, hopefully that with with the Mike McDaniels offense, where it's going to be mostly a a, a run-heavy offense, get two out there on some bootlegs and some play action and him to be able to get get some easy, easy throws on the run. And this is where this is where the Tyreek Hill aspect plays in plays a part because uh, I, I I again I like the Tyreek Hill I like the Tyreek Hill acquisition the fact that a Tyreek Hill excuse me the threat of a Tyreek Hill is a big game changer most definitely you're going to have to have a safety over the top at all times because he can run by you one thousand percent but also. His run after the catch is, he's, excuse me, he is a playmaker after the catch is amazing. I could see the um, Mike McDaniel drawing up some plays where Tyreek Hill could take some jet sweeps. I can see some 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 bubble screens to to Tyreek Hill. He could take that mug to the house. I could see some 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 motioning going on where Tyreek Hill gets a direct snap, lined up in the backfield, all that type of stuff. I can see some stuff like that. But 
more importantly, like just getting getting him the ball in general and on those bootlegs and play actions, I could see him running a shallow cross and him possibly picking up some big yardage. And I feel like that could be that could be very, very positive for the Miami Dolphins to complement that running game for sure. Uh, last year, he had 101 receptions and 1,239 yards and nine touchdowns. Like it's almost it was it's very it's very it's almost impossible for you to stop Tyree because he's so dynamic and be able to make plays from almost anywhere on the field. But again, it comes down to Tua. It literally just comes down to Tua. And to be honest, I I sorry I am just not sold on Tua. Y'all gonna have this. Y'all gonna have to make me a believer. You can call me a hater all you want. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Fire!